Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today's video is a quick and easy video on how I create my resin beach art using real West Australian sand. So what we do is we start off with the sand. Now what I've done here is I've very quickly just filtered out any uh, big pieces of sticks or um, debris that I don't want to include in the resin piece but Mainly I leave in as much as possible so it looks uh, more genuine on the finished piece. So what I'm doing here is I've put a small amount of sand into a cup and added some clear resin and just mixed it until I've got the consistency that I'm after. And then basically as you can see here we just pour it straight onto the board. The It is still self leveling but you get like a thicker finish with sand and you still retain a little bit of texture in the sand. If you want a smoother effect add more resin, if you want it to be coarser and um, have a lot more texture then add smaller amounts of resin to the sand. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just spreading this about because what I want is it to be a bit thinner on the upper edge so that when I pour the resin on top it does flow over the top of the sand. Now I've got two boards on the go at the moment because I've mixed on up enough for two boards so I'm going to flip between the two. So same thing here I'm just applying the sand I'm just doing a slightly different shape to the last one so that it's not the same um, but as you know resin has a mind of its own so you're not likely to get the same anyway. But on this one I wanted to include a bit more sand so that it's, it's got a different look. So what I've done now is I've moved back to the first board and we're now pouring the um, tinted resin. Now I've started off with three colours. I've got a jade for the first colour, a teal for the second and a sapphire blue for the third. So it's gives the impression that it goes darker the further out to sea that it goes. And then using the heat gun just zap the bubbles. Now you'll do this need to do the sand a few times um, just because you're gonna get some extra bubbles happening through the sand. But so I'll go back and I'll do that um, on several occasions. And all I'm doing now just using my fingers is just gently tapping the resin so that we get a nice swirl effect. And that's the beauty of metallic uh, pigments and pastes is you get quite a lot of depth with in the resin with the metallic so you get more of an impression of it looking like water. So same thing, just going to move to the next board because what I want to do is although we're not waiting for any of the resin to cure before doing each of these layers and um, by moving across from one board to another it is curing slightly so that when we apply the, the next layer it actually does sit on the top more. It's the same thing, uh, just moving it about slightly, just letting it run over the sand and then I'm just using my fingers to give like that swirl in motion and um, to make it look a little bit more realistic. And again giving it a zap with the heat gun to zap any bubbles. Now again I've not waited for anything to cure at this point and I'm now just pouring some clear resin and I'm not pouring it all over the piece, I'm just pouring it in a way in waves to give the impression that it's um, you've got waves happening and then using a very small amount of white I'm now just picking out the top area of a couple of areas in the clear and then using the heat gun on the high speed setting and now blowing this around. If you don't have a heat gun that has two different settings then use a hair dryer tip for the same effect. And what happens here because we've done clear before the white you'll see more in this one. When you do the clear before the white the, the white stays separated from the other colour so it doesn't blend with the other colour so you get like a nice wave effect sitting on the top. Also it helps with the movement of the white over the sand so you get that um, authentic looking serve happening over the, the sandy areas. Now for this one I did actually use a bit too much white 
I, um, I didn't uh, like the final result, but there was just a bit too much weight for me. However, you know, depending on what kind of surf you want to do, then, you know, it's, it's the same principle applies. Just uh, apply the clear, apply the white, and then zap it with the high setting on the heat gun. And as you can see, as the white moves over the sand, you're getting more of an authentic look because you can see the sand through the surf. Now I'm using um, Lares White for the white on these pieces. Now th this is by far the best white that I've found to date. I absolutely love how it's creating cells and things in the resin, but also how it retains its um, its white colour. Because quite often I've used others in the past where you know the, the white becomes a bit wishy washy and doesn't really do what I want to do but this white is just tremendous and you can see the cells that are happening there on the surf it's just absolutely amazing I'm just really impressed with this um, pigment and a big thank you to Susanna Danks for um, very kindly sending me a sample of this and some other colours which I will show you in some later videos and once you're happy with the design and layout, it's now just with the finish, finishing touches. So now I'm just adding some shells to just give it a nice 3D um, effect. And it just adds a bit of interest into it. So I'm just using shells, which I'm dipping in some of the leftover clear resin. Now the reason why I'm dipping them into the resin is it gives the shells a nice glossy finish as well. And as the resin runs off, it looks like it's sitting in pools of water. On the sand so you get a nice effect with that also so like everything less is more so don't go over the top with the shells I'm just using four on each of these I'd normally only use three but in this one um, I decided to use four uh, one large and three small so there you have it here's your um, re resin beach art um, which is very very quick and easy to do and quite effective as always i hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some inspiration to create your own resin beach art now if you don't have easy access to the beach you can always buy sand in local craft shops and things like that but using some authentic sand I think it gives it an extra feel. So if you like this video please um, click on the like button and even better still subscribe to my channel and um, I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye now.